This document is going to explain how to plot curves with a spreadsheet. Using a spreadsheet to graph data is convenient once you know what you're doing, and even plotting error bars and straight lines is relatively simple. However, once you need to plot data which is not linear, things become a bit more complicated. Consider the data here. First of all, the graph doesn't have error bars. However, it's also not smooth. Error bars haven't been shown, so the smoothness of the curve can be seen easily. As always, you should include error bars unless you're specifically told to omit them. So you might be tempted to do something like this. Connect the points, like a dot-to-dot -dot drawing. Dot-to-dot -dot drawings do not belong in scientific reports. Smooth curves are almost always what's more appropriate. So the following discussion should help you use a spreadsheet to produce nonlinear plots. So, a line can be drawn by simply connecting its endpoints, and a curve can be approximated by a series of very short line segments between points along the curve. If the points are close enough, the line will look smooth. So, if we want to plot a curve in a spreadsheet, proceed as follows. Instead of just using the two endpoints to draw a line between them, we can create a bunch of points along the x-axis to create a series of intervals. And so at each point, we can calculate the value of the curve at the particular point on the x-axis. So here's an example with five points. So here we have our minimum value at the left end of the graph. Here we have our maximum value at the right end of the graph. So now what we do is calculate a point one-fifth of the way along, two-fifths, three-fifths, and four-fifths of the way along. So now, if we calculate points on that curve, remember these aren't data points, these are points on the curve for each of those values of x. Now we can connect those points with straight line segments to get something that is a bunch of straight lines that follow the curve. So then if we take out the dots, then we see that we have something approximating a curve. And obviously if we used more than five points, we could make it much smoother, like this. Notice that even though the x values for the first and last point are taken from the original data, the y values aren't, since the purpose is to point, find points on the curve, not from the data. So for most graphs, a value of, say, 100 for n should be sufficient to make a smooth graph. If not, make a bigger value for n. And you can adjust the number to find as m how many points you need. So, note that in this case, actually none of the data points actually fall on the curve, which is often the way it works. Now, in some cases, you have a function which is piecewise defined, which means you have to make a curve from data which must fit two different equations in different regions of the graph. So, here's a case where you have two straight line sections, a straight line section here and a straight line section here. What you have to come up with is the curve that's going to join them. So you want it to join here, and so mathematically, at this point, you want the y values of the curve and the line to match, but you also want the slopes to match so that it's a smooth transition. On this case, at this point here, again, we want the y values of the curve and the, and the line to match. We also want the slopes, again, to match so that it's a smooth transition. So, the equation for that curve is the y value at the left end has to be the same as the y value of the first function. The y value at the second end has to be the y value of the second function. And then to make it smooth, we also need that the derivatives of those two things are the same. So, in the case of the first function being a straight line and the second function being a straight line, then we need the slope of the curve at the left end to be the slope of the left line and the slope of the curve at the right end to be the slope of the right line. So we can solve these four equations by a polynomial in four unknowns. So if we have something of this form, then the derivative will be this. So we can set up a system of equations. So if we set up a matrix, 
for the x values and their powers and so on. Then we have a solution matrix for the two function values and the two derivative values. And so what we have is a matrix equation where we want to solve the matrix equation. So we want to get these four values that make those that make things true. So the solution we get is this, is like that. So this will produce a smooth graph. Whether that curve in between those lines is actually what the data actually do in there is a different question.